Hello Brain Lovers, Gregory here from The Brain Academy. So the big news last week came from Elon Musk and his company Neuralink where they posted an update on their research and progress of implanting a sensor in the brain and doing all type of science fiction stuff. Are we all be soon turning into cyborgs? The future's gonna be weird. Find it out here in this episode of The Brain Vlog. Who's Elon Musk? <laughs> for those of you who have been living on another planet for the last 10 years, Elon Musk is a billionaire. A real one. <laughs> Take that Ted Turner in your face, founder of Facebook. He's worth a hundred billion, yes? You heard it right. Billion. And he's a tech freak. That makes him something like Batman, but then without the, the bat part, you know, the cape and the drama. At least that we know of. Hmm. Could it be? He is in a vehicle. Make it color. Uh, it's a black tank. Now he's the guy behind Tesla and the self-driving cars, SpaceX and the space tourism, and now Neuralink and electronic chips implanted in the brain. Seriously, he's doing that. Now, obviously that last part is of interest to me. In 2016, he co-founded Neuralink, so we knew he would be doing that. Well now, He's doing it. <laughs> In his tweet announcing the event, he was making sure he caught our attention with words like the matrix in the matrix. <laughs> the expectations were sky high. Then came the event. During the event, he presented us Gertrude. Gertrude is a pig, kid you not with an implanted chip in the brain. That chip made it possible to get a live feed from the brain and beeps every time the snout of Gertrude was touching something. That's it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so much for the Matrix. You disappoint me. Now, fun fact. I love the way Elon Musk was continuously repeating how the pig was happy and healthy. Healthy and happy? Healthy and happy pig. Healthy and happy. Healthy and happy pig. Healthy, happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So, as underwhelming as this may seem, what does it mean? Where will it lead us from here and what does the future hold? Because, let's face it, brain implants that make a machine go beep when you touch something with your nose, they don't have that many real-life applications, right? Now, Elon Musk himself has made all kinds of wild speculations about the future of Neuralink. These go from curing paralysis... You got new legs. New legs over treating depression and Parkinson to superhuman vision and telepathy. What's short term, what's long shot and what is just wishful thinking? Well, I hate to be the one curbing the enthusiasm here, but short term, besides Gertrude and her snout, there won't be much groundbreaking sci-fi developments. Let's be real here. If you want to have any chip implanted on a large scale on humans as Elon Musk's ambition is, well, outside of pure experiential lab work, we're pretty much at square one. The first and biggest and most obvious hurdle to take is to know how the brain will react to such an insertion as it will attack and maybe reject the intruder. And how will the implant react to such attacks? How would the materials deteriorate? What would be the consequences of that? Long story short, if we want to know how the brain will react to such an implant over the time of, let's say, 10 years, well, we'll just have to test that out and wait 10 years. And Neuralink hasn't even announced the first clinical trials yet, or even given a possible future starting date. So don't expect any groundbreaking results anytime soon. Having said that, it's not the first time someone is trying to implant a chip in a brain. It actually happens quite regularly when treating Parkinson's disease and epilepsy. Estimates tell us that about 200,000 people globally have some sort of neurotechnological implant in their brain. So Neuralink is far from being a pioneer here. Other researchers, nothing to do with Neuralink, have already inserted chips in human brains to help paralyzed people to operate technology. <laughs> to help them gain back some level of motricity. Results are quite humble, but at the same time, this is where the biggest potential lies, at least in the medium term, for any brain implant, being it from Neuralink or other organizations. And yes, in the long term, and I'm talking several decennia here, people who are paralyzed or even amputees will be able to walk again and use prosthetics in a very natural way. They will even be able to feel again, even with a prosthetic hand. 
based on the technology we saw with Gertrude and her snout. That's possible because the neuroplasticity in our brain makes it possible, after a remarkable short period of adaptation, to decode any incoming signal as being from our own body. Our brain would not make the difference anymore between the prosthetic touch and the real touch. And that's... Now, another area with potential for Neuralink is the treatment of depression and addictions. Actually, that's already been done. Not with an implant, but through electrical stimulation through the skull. It's called deep brain stimulation. It's still quite experimental, uh, but shows promise. Same is true with uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Now you have to understand that when they say it's quite experimental and it shows promise, it means they kind of get results, but they're not sure why and how. So as long as they don't figure that out, they won't be able to repeat the results. And that's another one of the big problems with the brain. All brains are different. They are a reflection of our life, of our experiences, and the functional anatomy is not the same everywhere. So yeah, it's a challenge. But Elon Musk looks further than the medical application. He sees all of us walking around with such an implant and connect ourselves directly to computers. The truth is, downloading a program like in the Matrix and developing a skill instantly I know Kung Fu. It's not gonna happen. You cannot substitute networks of neurons covering multiple areas of the brain having developed over months and years with a brain chip. That's pure science fiction and it will never happen. So what could happen? Could we one day access information directly from our brain like we do with our computer? Dad? Mom? I've just taken your photo. Send and... Send. Have a Google search in our brain? Yes and no. No, because our brain doesn't store information like a computer does and doesn't recall it that way either. That's not how it would work. But we could create a simulation of this experience. We could ask the brain chip to run a Google search and then have the results projected on a contact lens we would be wearing. Hey, why not even have the contact lens implanted in our eye to make it permanent? Yeah, th that could work. Similarly, we would be able to fake telepathy by having the implant send information over to the implant in someone else's brain. We could give orders to our self-driving car, probably a Tesla, to come and pick us up wherever we are. Stop. And stuff like that. So yes, there could be applications for a larger crowd, but it won't come anytime soon. Not 10 years, not 20. Hmm. After that, who knows? So having Elon Musk develop and present a robot who can do the surgical operation of inserting the brain chip in the skull is the least, we can say, premature. So what does it all mean? Well, basically, not much to see here. Neuralink is not a pioneer, doesn't have any real breakthroughs with real-life applications. The only reason Gertrude was getting so much attention is because Elon Musk himself, our wannabe Iron Man, <laughs> was talking about her. There's potential, sure. But don't forget, in the 80s, everybody thought we would be driving around in flying cars by now. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. So what do you think would be a cool application for a brain implant? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. So check out some of our other episodes. And if you want the real stuff, go to brainacademy.com and join our 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharp.